All right. Let's get started. So thank you everyone for showing up. Um, our talk is on Yuri's Night, titled Yuri's Night Rocking the Planet in 2013. I am Bryce Russ. I'm the assistant director of the Yuri's Night global team as well as the media team chair. So I run our press releases, blog posts, so on and so forth. And this is Rick Hannon. He's our director of media, social media. So he runs Facebook, Twitter, and you know a lot of other awesome stuff to help make Yuri's Night run as well. So we're going to basically do a quick overview of what Yuri's Night is sort of what we've done in Yuri's Night in 2013, and then, you know, branch out to the future, see where we can go from here, we get some ideas, some stories, figure out where we want to take Yuri's Night from, from here. So, a quick show of hands, how many people here are familiar with Yuri's Night? Like, you've heard of Yuri's Night, or sort of know what Yuri's Night is. Um, how many folks who have been to a Yuri's Night party at some point, a party event, something like that? Okay, so, a good range of experience here. So we'll start off with a, a quick overview. Um, Yuri's Night is a celebration of humanity's past, present, and future in space. And it goes back to April 12, 1961, when Yuri Gagarin launched in Vostok 1, became the first human in space. Um, but then also on April 12, 1981, when the first space shuttle mission launched, STS-1 Columbia with John Young and Bob Crippen. So April 12th, obviously a very momentous day in space history, and so starting on April 12th, 2001, we have our first Yuri's Night set of events all around the world. Um, this was our flagship event down in Los Angeles. We had like Lance Bass, Oksana Bayul, um, a whole bunch of other people who probably were a bit better known in 2001 than they are now, <laughs> but still, um, every little bit counts. Um, uh, Yuri's Night, by the way, was co-founded by George, George Whitesides and then Loretta Hidalgo, now Loretta Whitesides, um, you know, they are now married, and you know, Loretta was here for a little bit yesterday, couldn't stay for today unfortunately, but still very involved with Yuri's Night. George is a bit less involved with Yuri's Night because he is now serving as CEO of uh, Virgin Galactic, so kind of a little bit too busy, but still very supportive of the Yuri's Night mission. Um, so yeah, the first series that I had 64 parties in 24 countries. We've continued to grow and grow since then, and we um, so. And we continue to celebrate this international celebration of human space flight. So Yuri's Night, I've already, it's called the World Space Party. It's sort of a combination of space education, space outreach, science outreach, learning about science with sort of this way of partying and celebrating and, you know, having a good time. So it's kind of a, a way to conduct science outreach for people who may not necessarily go to a conference like this or to you know, see a, a lecture or something like that, or sit and watch a uh, whole bunch of videos on YouTube, but they'll go to a party. And so they may be kind of interested in space, maybe kind of interested in science, and so they'll go to a Yuri's night, and you know, they'll come for the dancing or the movies or whatever, but then they'll listen to a lecture by a scientist, or they may go out and do some stargazing outside the planetarium, wherever they're having the event at. And so it's a way to just sort of get people aware of what's going on in space, help them realize that no, we haven't camped in space because the space shuttle isn't flying any longer. We're actually going out and still celebrating what's going on in space and what will be happening in space in the future. So uh, uh, one of our best examples of this were some of the events we had at NASA Ames up in the Bay Area of California back in 2007, 2008, 2009. So they were huge events, they were wonderful. We had like Will Wright, the designer of SimCity and the Sims, uh, Chris McKay, the astrobiologist, uh, presentations from groups like Tesla Motors, NASA, JPL, folks like that. But then we also had, you know, performances by uh, Freeze Pop, Phil Lesh from The Grateful Dead, um, the band NERD, um, DJing, and so we had, you know, 10,000 folks coming out and having a great time, but still learning about space at the same time. So your event events can be huge like this, they can be as small as, you know, a few people. My very first Jury's Night event back in Chapel Hill, North Carolina in 2007 was like me and four friends sitting around watching Apollo 13. So, you know, as long as you're together, you're celebrating space, you're having fun, that's your reason. Right. Um, so, you know, and this has been shown to work. So, you know, we've had some great press, an article from Wired, and so talking about, you know, it's not just, we're not just suffering folks in with the, the dancing and the celebration and stuff. It's, it's a way of combining them and getting people interested. And, you know, even if, you know, we interrupt the music by the top four presentations, the crowd, you know, will still gather closer in and sort of see, okay, what's the, what's the deal about with what's going on in, in space and science. Um, so we've had parties all around the world and parties outside of this world. This was from the International Space Station back in 2012, right? This wasn't, yeah, 2012. Um, thanks to uh, Ron Garrett in the back right there was 
very influential in sort of getting everyone decked out. The Yuri Knight t-shirts, that's the classic Yuri head they're all wearing. You've probably seen the stickers, the lapel pin, everything. And so they sort of celebrated Yuri's Knight on the NSS, had some great pictures of Yuri's Knight going on, and just sort of taking images like this that, you know, even though it's a party a hundred miles away, a pretty small group, it's sort of this ability to connect this all around the world, um, connect people from different nations, different places on the planet or off the planet, and continue to build this community of Yuri's Night and this community of space in general. So that's sort of the introduction to what Yuri's Night is on the whole, and to talk a bit more about what Yuri's Night did this year in 2013, I'm going to pass it over to Rick and he can talk a bit more about what went on here. So as Bryce said, I'm Rick, and I have been in charge of the social media for Yuri's Night for the last year at least, as I kind of took over from our last person when they couldn't do it anymore. And so in this past year, we had a really great Yuri's Night. We had tons and tons of parties, much, many more than we, I think, initially anticipated for the year. And the number of parties included places all over the, all over the globe, every single continent, including, uh, I guess it's not really shown here, but Antarctica. And so you can see that there's a ton of parties in the U.S. Um, we have some in South America, a couple in Africa, and tons in Europe as well. And so just to show you a few of the places, one of the biggest things we had this year was Yuri's Night on two different planets, both Earth and Mars, um, with the Mars Curiosity rover tweeting about Yuri's Night, um, as well as uh, his alter ego, Sarcastic Rover, also tweeting away at Yuri's Night. Um, so that was really great, and we really enjoyed that a lot. Um, we also have hosted for many years parties out in Second Life, which is kind of this alternative online universe if you've never used it. And so uh, we have a few folks that will go and host some host big events there for people to join in that aren't near any other parties um, or you know don't have the wherewithal to start their own party. And so they can just go out in Second Life and hang out with people and, and do a few things there. Um, one of our, our big brand new, I guess, I think brand new parties this year was down in, uh, there's a couple, actually three parties I believe, down in Columbia. And I think this is one of the bigger ones, but they, they had this, I think this, I don't know exactly what this picture was taken. I think there was a few pictures too of like even huge, bigger crowds here, and there's some videos online um, where they had just tons of people uh, participating in this event down in Middle in Columbia. Yeah, Columbia. Columbia. So. Yeah. That was our typo. Link, link <laughs> um, And then, of course, the, our biggest party this year, probably, or, or kind of our most uh, pushed party, I guess, mm -hmm. this year was in Los Angeles, California, uh, where they were able to have a party around the uh, space shuttle that's hosted there right now, uh, prior to it being mounted up vertical. So that was quite a huge event, and hopefully if we get a second at the end, we'll try and show you a quick video that they put together from that event, which is really, really cool. Um, they had astronauts, they had um, the Mohawk guy from NASA was there, um, and he, it was his first series night, so he thought it was really cool. Um, and as well as the Planetary Society hosted it, and uh, Loretta Whiteside helped a lot with getting it all set up and um, helping push that whole event forward, so that was cool. And there's special blue lighting underneath, you know, a little party, party atmosphere, so very cool. Um, we have the Google Lunar X Prize team out in Japan. Um, they've celebrated Yuri's Night for a couple of years, and so they have a lot of fun, I think. Um, there's a party that's happened for, I think, for a couple of years. Um, mm -hmm. I, uh, how do you say this, Brett? Inverness? I think it's Inverness, Inverness. Yeah. Inverness, Scotland. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, they do a lot of things with young kids, um, which is really cool to see every year. They've sent in lots of pictures. No one's too old or too young to spin Yuri's Night. We have folks who like 70, 80 folks who remember the actual launch way back when. And, right. You know, people were five years old. And uh, this is one of our, our executive director, Ryan. His, uh, he had, I think he hosted two parties down in Florida. So that, that's Ryan. <laughs> um, and his, his wife. And uh, I think this is the two different parties, I assume? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the Friday night and then that's the barbecue set. Yeah, so he hosted two parties on two different days. Um, <laughs> Just as cool like that. And, <laughs> and they, were, they were both very well attended. Um, so that's the one United States party out of very many. Um, we also had a party in Batman, Turkey, which we thought was pretty cool. <laughs> that, uh, that we had a party in Batman. And obviously, they have a lot of stuff doing that they did with uh, young children, too. So that's mm -hmm. great, the outreach. Um, 
the whole city of uh, Vladivostok, Vladivostok, Russia, had a huge Yuri's Night party. Um, and so they were doing all kinds of things and getting people involved and projecting uh, giant logos and screens and images and words on the side of uh, this building here. So there's our logo on the side of the building, which we thought was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a huge party in Salzburg, Austria. Um, I think, yeah, and you know, that's, that's kind of your, your classic party event. Um, not really as much on the educational side or the outreach <laughs> side, but you know, doing a lot of, of different things. And then we, we also were very happy to see um, greetings this year from both Chris Hadfield and LeVar Burton, uh, also known as Giorgio LaForge. Um, and so they, they both were happy to help us out and provide us with some Yuri's Night. Uh, Chris was on the ISS, Jordy, unfortunately. I'm sorry, LeVar. LeVar <laughs> was not. There, so yeah. give it about 300 years, we'll, we'll get him on the universe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Junior <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, one of the last pictures, so the pictures we have here is uh, we we started this thing last year and we call Explore with Yuri, and so basically our objective is to uh, get pictures of people with like Yuri's Night uh, stickers or Yuri's Night shirts or whatever in all kinds of different places and collect that all together. And um, you know, I think we'll probably just start doing a little bit better job of collaging it all together, but. Here we've got you know, kind of a smattering of uh, fairly you know, important people um, in different places with the Yuri's Night shirts mostly on. And so, uh, go help me out. Yep, so on the far left we have Anusha Ansari, um, one of the very first private space travelers, I think the first female private space traveler, if I recall correctly, yep. when she went back up about Prior. seven or eight years ago. Uh, Scott Perzinski um, on the summit of Mount Everest, a former NASA astronaut, brought his Yuri's Night badge up there to really appreciate it. And then, yeah, just a few other people sort of showing Yuri's Night uh, position. But is that, that's not soy on these, I don't know, a few other people. I, I don't know. Okay, and then just yeah, um, people showing Yuri's night. Um, we've had people, you know, with Yuri's night like underwater, you know, all over the place. So it's well, just, I got a question. Uh, yeah, did anyone from Huntsville sent you some pictures? Or did we forget again this year? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if we had any sent. I know I checked on the Facebook page and looked at a few of them, okay. but yeah, we would, if you would love to send them to us again, we'd certainly love that. Yeah, so okay. our sort of website, our sort of like photo gallery is at live.yurisnight.net. So it's Yuri's Night Live. It's basically where people can instantly go and upload their photos. And it used to be through Posturist, now so it's a Tumblr. Um, but you know, upload your photos, videos, stories, your Yuri's Night data from all around the world. And that's where a lot of these pictures are. We had our party actually, you know, the work papers in the center, which is we have seven five here. Yep. We had a three awesome. You know, so education yeah. and then party stuff. So like celebrations like museums after dark tend to be really sort of great experiences where you know you can go into a science center or a planetarium or something and you can go and look at the exhibits and have fun, but then they'll have like a dance floor set up so you can, you know, explore, dance, explore, dance. Go back. <laughs> Um, and then also, I guess my last thing here is uh, we were pretty happy. We actually found out like way after the fact that we were <laughs> we were for, we were featured uh, in a short bit, about a minute long, on uh, Erin Burnett's Outfront program on CNN on April 12th this year. So that was really cool that she was uh, interested in kind of covering our story and talking a little bit about uh, about Yuri's night and what that means in both the U.S. and Russia. And so I guess with that, I'll show you a quick video where I'll show you that clip. I'll do that clip. This whole package should be open the next one. Yeah. Oh. I realize we don't have sound. Is there? Is this sound? That looks like. Yeah. No, we didn't have time, man. Oh, <laughs> well, you can't have 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 So here's a few more photographs. Let's go on. Of Apple videos. It should be loading. I think it's just really big files. I think. So. Celebrations in more than 50 different countries on every continent are happening right now. Why? It's Yuri's night. On this day in 1961, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first person in space. His 108 minutes orbiting Earth paved the way for all the rockets and shuttles and space stations since. And every year since 2001, thousands around the world have gathered to celebrate his flight on Yuri's night. Well, tens of thousands of <laughs> 
we're always looking to the future. I mean, we're space people. Of course, we're always looking to the future. And so, what is the future of Erie's Night? Um, we don't really have a limit in how big we want to think. Like, we would love to see Erie's Night as a global holiday, for example. Let's see people celebrate Erie's Night as a day of celebrating discovery and exploration and our presence in space. I mean, it's already celebrated in Russia um, kind of before Erie's Night, but uh, Cosmonautics Day is April 12th in Russia, and so it's a, it's a holiday over there where we celebrate you know, achievements in Russian cosmonautics. We'd love to see it expanded throughout the world. Um, parties, a thousand parties, parties <laughs> across the, the globe, across the galaxy. I mean, the sky is not the limit. It's, it's past the sky is the limit. It's just ridiculous. So we just want to see people celebrating space and you know doing whatever they can. But it's really, it's ours to say. And by ours, we don't just mean us. We mean all of you out there too. Yuri's Night is a group that you know is only possible thanks to hundreds and thousands of people around the world who work to celebrate Yuri's Night. To celebrate.